Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. I have a really fun, delicious dessert recipe. So if you're going somewhere and you're in charge of bringing dessert, this is a, a real easy one, too, and everybody loves it. And you can vary it up. So the first thing is um, we're making a layered tort, a pudding tort. And we started out making the crust, and the full recipe is on our website. But basically, it's a cup of flour, a couple tablespoons of sugar, and a half cup of butter. And then nuts in here are optional. You can use some crushed pecans or walnuts, and you just press them into a 9 by 13 pan and bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350. And again, that crust recipe is on the website. And then let it cool, and then we're going to put some wonderful layers on top. Now, the first layer is a block of cream cheese, just an 8-ounce block of softened cream cheese, a cup of powdered sugar, and I'm going to get that going. And while I'm beating this nice and smooth, today's Living with Amy is... We're going retro today, so get out your bell bottoms because we're going to have a ton of fun. This is kind of a retro recipe because we're going to use today pistachio pudding. And when's the last time you had pistachio pudding? But this dessert, you can use chocolate pudding, you could use butterscotch pudding, whatever your little heart desires. And we actually have uh, three cups of milk and your favorite two small packages of instant pudding and pie filling that we've already mixed up. And as I said, we use pistachio because it's kind of retro, I think, and kind of fun. Into this cream cheese and the powdered sugar, I'm going to do about half of a 16-ounce container of whipped topping that I've let thaw, and that's going to make a nice, rich, creamy layer, and I just want to beat that nice and smooth. There we go. So this is layer number one, and that goes right on top every little last bit of it, spreads right on top of this crust. And this is a make-ahead dessert, so I like that about this recipe, too. You can, you know, have it all made ahead and in the refrigerator. It needs to be made at least four hours ahead of time. It's really easy, just a little bit putsy, but it is worth it with all these wonderful layers. So layer number one, again, is the cream cheese, the powdered sugar, and a little bit of that whipped topping. Layer number two is whatever your favorite, again, pudding. Whatever your family loves or whatever you're in the mood for, you could do two boxes of chocolate, two boxes of pistachio, coconut cream, um, butterscotch, again, really, really fun, mixed with three cups of milk, and that's the second layer. It's spread right on top of the cream cheese layer. And then we've got one more layer, and that's just the rest of that whipped topping that goes right on top. The key is you don't want to mix the layers together so that you can kind of see them in the glass dish. It's really nice to do this in a glass dish. And just very carefully kind of spread that around, and you'll probably do it better than me even, but you can then see the three separate layers and it makes a really pretty and delicious dessert. And look how easy that, that is. I mean, really, you can throw this together in about 15 minutes. Now, top it with, if you'd like. If you're doing chocolate pudding, some pretty chocolate shavings would be nice. If you're doing, um, you know, lemon pudding, you could do some lemon zest or some crushed lemon cookies. You know, you get the idea. If you're doing butterscotch pudding, you could top it with some uh, butterscotch chips. But with the pistachios in here, we're going to top it with just a few nuts on top just to make it look really pretty. And there you go. You've got a great layered dessert, kind of retro with the pistachio, and it's just yummy and something different. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. And make sure to watch Living with Amy. We've got all sorts of great retro recipes. Uh, we're taking meatloaf to the next level with a wonderful mushroom sauce, and we're making a cherry cola cake. How fun is that? And you know me. I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Sunday, Good Day, Wisconsin. I'm making the easiest ever chicken enchiladas. Yum. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.